This is the base setting of the multiband PIM test system. There are RF input and output ports, as well as low PIM switch unit ports. Connect an antenna, PIM load, and RF cable to the DUT port in order to start the MPTS. When the device is ready, run the application on the PC. This program controls the system. To measure the PIM, set the output ports for individual RF rack bands. In the center, the RSSI is being measured. The received signal strength indicator shows the reception strength. There are text, time graph and frequency graph display modes. Now you are watching the test display mode. In the band selected above, you can set the frequency and HPA output power. After the setting, turn on the RF to show the IM3 value of the set frequency, the HPA output value, and the DUT measurement. The display mode can be changed during the measurement. Turn off the RF to change the band and DUT port. Let's use the ENA mode. Set a DUT port in order to collect the S parameters through the remote control. For a more efficient inspection in a production line, run the mass product option in the application. You can delete, save or load a test scenario. After setting it, start the measurement in order to check the status if it is a pass or fail.